Hey, this is Lou at Lucky Trader, and today we're going to go over some other things you can do with your Phantom Wallet for Solana. Here you'll see I'm on the ftx.us slash NFTs page. And here you can scroll through their marketplace. They have Ethereum collections up here, but you'll also notice that they have some Solana collections, and they're adding more collections each day. So here you see some of the, the more known collections on Solana. So you have the DGen Apes, the Solana Monkey Business, Galactic Gecko, and you can quickly see what the floor prices are on these things and explore. You can buy, sell, everything like that right on FTX. So how do you interact with Phantom? Well, with Phantom, you're able to connect to the FTX website in order to grant them access to your wallet in order to purchase, make those transactions, or sell some collectibles that you have. So within the Phantom Wallet that we already have downloaded, you can see the wallet address up there. You have nothing right now in your wallet. So how would you add? One thing you could do is you could send, uh, if you had already Solana in your wallet, or you could deposit. In deposit right here, you could use the transfer from FTX. And this is probably the easiest way to do it as of now. And this would open a window. You sign into your FTX account and it uses FTX pay in order to transfer the Solana that you purchase on FTX through the exchange goes directly into your Phantom wallet. Once you have that in your wallet, you would be able to go in and do a few different things within the wallet. Down here, the second tab is your collectibles. So if you have, once you have NFTs on Solana, they would show up in this location where you could click in and see the different traits on the items, all the different collections that you have. On this third tab, you would be able to swap the Solana that you have for different currencies. This is done through the Radium portal. And so it's powered by Radium, whatever coins that Radium has, you would be able to swap right here within the interface. The fourth tab, you'll see your recent activity. So if you send, receive, or if you're buying NFTs, you'll see that on here. You can click in to see the individual hash. The last tab, you'll be able to change the name of your wallet. So you can call this FTX. And you can change a couple different things. You can add addresses. You can add trusted apps. Uh, once you connect to a website, it would show up here. You would be able to revoke the access later in that case, right in this location. You could change your password here, auto lock timer, different networks, or you would be able to see your secret recovery phrase, or you'd be able to reset that phrase if you wanted to in this location, or you could remove the wallet. If you were planning on changing your wallet or you felt like it may have been compromised, this could be a useful page for you. In the top left here, if you click that, you'll notice I see multiple wallets in here. So you can add multiple wallets within one login and it all comes into the same password that you used for this browser and it's connected to the secret recovery phrase that you used to unlock this wallet. Those are some things you can do in the, the Fanta wallet and have a nice day.